With finals right around the corner, students are keeping their notes close and their laptops closer. Though used mostly for studying, some take a break to do some online shopping. And while it seems rather easy to whip out your card and make purchases online through sites such as Craigslist, eBay, or even Facebook, it's just as easy for someone on the other end to be taking your money. First-year student Lexan Malzarte makes several purchases through the UT Buy Sell Trade Free Facebook group. It's a group she says she trusts. However, earlier this month, she received a call from UTPD that she had purchased a stolen laptop from a student on the Facebook page. This one guy messaged me, he's like, I don't want to be shady or anything. That should have been like uh, something. According to a recent National Retail Federation report, retailers estimate that one third of blog site items are actually stolen goods. To tackle the issue at the university level, UTPD officer William Piper advises students to keep an eye out for some key red flags. You should ask the person, well, how did you get the property? If they said they found it, that's a red flag. If they said it was given to them, that's a red flag. Uh, if they said they bought it for a very low price, that's a red flag. When making purchases online, UTPD encourages students that when they're going to meet up with the person that they're going to exchange the products with, to do so in a well-lit area, preferably during the day, either in front of an apartment complex or on campus. Despite her negative experience, Lexan says that won't hinder her from using the page, but it did teach her a valuable lesson she hopes other students can learn from. Leslie Adamy, KVR News.